Hi everyone, Joellen here, and today I will be painting blueberries. I really love painting form, and blueberries make the perfect subject matter. Here is a list of materials I'll be using for today's demonstration. After lightly making a sketch, I start off by wetting the blueberries with clean water. Starting with the right side, I'll drop in some Windsor Violet, and then I'll put in some Ultramarine Blue and some Quinacridone Magenta. Because the paper is wet, the paint will just spread softly on its own. And I'm okay with all of these colors mixing themselves together. While the top blueberries are drying up, I'll move down to the lower two blueberries. I'll use the same method by wetting the blueberries and then picking up some Windsor Violet, some Ultramarine Blue, some Quinacridone Magenta, and some Phthalo Blue. I'll drop these colors in and really let the paint mix itself in the wet areas. When you're working wet into wet paint, try not to overly wet the blueberry area. If you do, the paint will all run to the outer edges, leaving a hard, dark rim. I like to use a blow dryer to speed things along with my demonstrations. Once I know the blueberries are dry, I'll come in with some wet paint, but I'll be working one blueberry at a time. I'll first start with this blueberry on the right-hand side, and I'll work the darks on the lower and right-hand side. Then I'll pick up a little bit of water to soften the paint and creating a nice soft look for this one single blueberry. I'll use the same method for another blueberry. I try to pick blueberries that aren't touching each other, and this way I can continue to work without having to dry in between. The tops of the blueberries have little star-like shapes and it's important to paint these fairly dark.
make the tops of the blueberries look three-dimensional, I've painted the centers dark, and then I've left a little bit of space or a dry area surrounding that. And then finally, I'm adding dark little touches on the right-hand side where the shadows would be. another layer of Windsor Violet with ultramarine blue into the innermost crevices of the blueberries. This way it will really make the blueberries look round and dimensional. I have this old flat synthetic brush that is really good for lifting. I'll dampen the brush with water and then slowly and softly try to move some of the paint around on the light areas. Using a thicker amount of paint in Windsor Violet and Ultramarine Blue, I'll add the cast shadows to each blueberry. Finally, when everything is dry, I'll use a combination of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, and I'll add a cast shadow onto the surface. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. I'll see you next time.